the Property Coaching and Wealth Creation Podcast. Brought to you by Property and Business Coach, Daniel Latto. Join the conversation at www.daniellatto.co.uk. Remember to like and subscribe. Hi and welcome to the podcast. My name is Dan Latto and in this podcast I want to talk to you about your website and as we move towards 2019, so depending when you're listening to this, you might be in 2020 for all we know, uh, but as we move forward into the new year, we're in December right now, 2018, as we move forward, the relevance of a website seems to be becoming less and less important. And so I just want to clarify a few things around why I believe you you, you still need a website in 2019, 2020, 2030, 2040, whatever that happens to be. Well, let's be some major shift in the way in which we do business. You're still going to need a website. So there's a couple of reasons for this. So the first one, uh, let's just talk about get some technical stuff out of the way, some really big stuff. Let's give you the really big juicy one first. So the really big juicy reason why you should have a website is for Facebook retargeting purposes. So what this means is that if somebody lands on my website, I can um, get them to fire off what we call a Facebook tracking pixel. So now Facebook knows you've been on my website. And then what I can do is, depending which page is on my website you've looked at, let's say you're looking at the digital marketing page, then I can send you an advert specifically to follow up about digital marketing to get you back on, onto the website. Because we know that, you know, for those people who've landed on a website, you know, 75% of people never come back. But if we can get people back, there's a better chance it increases the probability that those people are going to buy from us. Um, they're certainly more engaged than completely cold traffic. So we want to continually be tracking those people who land on our website and then serve up adverts that are relevant to whatever it was that they were looking at. So then let's say that, that you know someone landed on a website, they looked at the social media marketing page, they looked at the website design page, and then they looked at the strategy session page, which is where they get to fill in a form and speak to me one-on-one. So we've got an opportunity to either serve up an advert for the social media package or we can serve up an advert for website design or we can serve up an advert for the strategy sessions. So whichever one I want to push that particular month, let's say, let's say we're just doing a special deal on websites and for everybody who's looked at the website page, we can serve up an advert saying take 20% off with this advert. Like how cool is that? Like, you can't do that if you're just sending people, you know, if you're posting a a piece of content out on LinkedIn, let's say, you've got zero control on LinkedIn as to who's looking at it. You don't even know who's looked at it. Like, at least if you're going back to your website, yeah, you still don't know who's looked at it, but at least you can serve up those who have looked at it at it and add that. That's a lot harder to do on LinkedIn. Now, on Facebook, if you're... If you've got a video, let's say, you can actually target people who've watched, you know, maybe more than 10 seconds of that video. So that's pretty cool. You can do stuff like that. But what we want to be able to do is we want to have an all-encompassing method of retargeting all those people who've landed on our website. You know, there's a reason why we're on our website. It may be that they've looked at an article and that they never go onto the website design page, okay? So we wouldn't send them an advert for website design because we know that's not what they're interested in. They were just reading some article on something or other. Unless that website page happened to be about top 10 tips for website design, in which case they might be interested in website design. Do you see what I mean? So, like, that's a major reason why we still want um, a website. So that's number one, Facebook retargeting pixels. Number two, then, is... You know, what's the first thing that you do? You hear about me. You hear about this guy called Daniel Latter. What is the first thing that you're going to go do where you're going to go onto Google, you're going to type my name, and you're going to see what comes up? So usually you'll have things like your Twitter account, your Facebook account, your Instagram account, my iTunes stuff comes up. Um, But then also my website comes up as well. So one of the first things that people do is they, they go and do some research on them. You know that client where we closed a five grand client um, overnight? He found us on iTunes and then he did his research on us, went onto YouTube, saw some of my videos. At some point, he then went onto onto my website, filled in the strategy form, and then the next day we had five grand in the account, right? Because he was a business coaching client. Well, that's exactly what you want. So if we hadn't have had a website, what would have been the mechanism for him to know where to go? 
And so this is the other reason why you want a website is that not only are people going to do their research on you and you want to really have a good website that has a, you know, lots of um, important, not important, lots of content on there from videos to podcasts to Facebook Live replays to written articles to images, the whole lot. Because they're going to do some background research about who you are, who your business is, what other people say about you, which is why we have a testimonials page. And that's what that's what people are going to want to know. So they want to know more about who you are. But then also the, the extension of this is how are people going to make contact? So this is number three then is people want to make contact with you. Like if I want to make contact with Gary V, can I go to Gary V's Instagram and reply to one of his posts? Well, I mean, I can, but is he actually going to respond to that? No, probably not. It's not an official channel. Like, I know he's great at engagement. It's one of the things he talks about that really winds him up, in fact. You know, he flies into an event and he's looking at people saying, oh, I'm coming to see you. And then he checks out their social media to see what their engagement is like with their clients, right? And usually it's, it's pretty rubbish. So actually, Gary does respond very well to other people's comments, but he gets that many. It's not an official channel of getting in contact with him. If, you know, if I'm a client and I want to buy from Gary V, I'm not going to go res- type a reply to one of Gary V's Twitters, uh, tweets. Like, he, he tweets like every six minutes anyway, right? So, like, literally, he tweets every six minutes. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's the, that's the amount of content that he puts out. So, that's not going to work. So, what are the official channels? So, your website provides you with that official channel. Now, I was looking at, um, I was looking at some, um, potential guests for podcasts and there were one or two actors and I thought actually they'd be really cool to come on um, and stuff from the 80s or 90s I thought I'd be quite cool uh, mostly for my own interest uh, screw everybody else uh, I wanted them on uh, one of them was um, the guy who played Arthur Dent in uh, the original Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because I read that book like a million times and I thought it'd be so cool to have his voice on my podcast and maybe actually for him to do an intro on one of my podcasts that's, that's exciting to me as a geek as a sci-fi, geeky kind of guy, right? So, uh, anyway, I went over to his, um, Peter something, I forget his name. I went over to his website, and it was like a website from the 1990s. But anyway, look, that's his official channel. Uh, he's an old guy, you know? It's, it's not like he is, is tweeting every two minutes like Gary Vee, do you know what I mean? He's not into so, uh, social media and that kind of thing. But that was his official channel. So, in order for people to make contact with you, you need to have an official channel. So, on my website... When you go over, it says, um, I think it's called Work With Me. Let me just take a quick look. And it's at the top. Um, let's see. I am logged into my website, so let me just have a look at the homepage. Uh, across the top, it says Work With Me. You click on that, and then it goes over to the um, strategy session page. Um, yeah. And then you can just, you know, that's the official channel. That's the way um, to actually do it. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, so you need the same as well, uh, because if, if you haven't got that, uh, then how are people going to know how on earth to make, um, contact with you? And so that's the difficulty if you've not got that. Okay. So number four, then uh, a big one, search engine optimization. So we've been doing some work with some clients. Uh, we've, I mean, the results actually speak for themselves. We've had some tremendous results. Let me just pull up those results. Um, we're in here somewhere. So the results that we've had for clients in terms of the amount of traffic or the increase in traffic that's going to people's uh, websites is significant. So for example, one client in the last two weeks, uh, the average time that a person spends on their site has increased by over 14%, which is like a sixth. Is that a sixth? Uh, that's pretty amazing, right? So people are spending more time on somebody's website and the more time that somebody spends on somebody's website, the, the greater the trust, the greater the credibility um, that people have. The next one is that uh, page views have actually increased by 73%, over 73%, in fact. So what this means is that, you know, instead of someone just going on and looking at five pages, they're looking at like seven, seven and a half pages. I know you can't look at half a page, but you know what I mean. But there's a significant increase. So for every 10 pages somebody looks at, we're now looking at an extra seven, uh, which is pretty amazing. An increase of over 70% is is pretty amazing. And then, um, uh, like, what what else, you know, that's just amazing in terms of, 
getting somebody onto a website and making a website what we call sticky so people are staying on it now uh, one of the other uh, side effects of this is that when because we're creating content we're creating more pages and when people are searching on google it means that their search engine optimization is now beginning to kick in because now people are getting found for what we call long-term keyword uh, long-term uh, long tail keywords so for example we've got a, a client who runs uh, a business putting um, investors uh, in touch with people who've got deals to sell or off-plan deals and that kind of thing. So now they're starting to come up on a search engine rankings on first page of Google. So um, so now they're beating some of their competitors where before their competitors had the whole of the front page. Now these guys are coming up on that front page as well. Like they might not be the top. Like on some keywords actually they are, but not on every keyword because that's virtually impossible, but on a, a, a number of keywords and every month we're adding more keywords to it to get them found more, then the more traffic they get, the more traffic they get, the more time they spend on site, the more time they spend on site, the more clicks they're going to make onto different pages. Google looks at that and likes it as well. That helps get their search engine rankings up. It's like a big circle of um, consequences, positive consequences, you know? So, if you know, I know people go, oh, there's no room for search engine optimization. Of course, there is. Like, you know, if you want to know how to do something, or if you want to buy something, you type it on Google and that thing comes up number one when you buy. I'd say that's pretty important. And I know that that's exactly what people do. Um, so that's a great way of doing it. Okay, so search engine optimization, I think that was number four. Number five, then, is just about building trust and reassurance. So, uh, and really, this is to do with getting testimonials on your website. Because if it's, if somebody lands on the page and there's a specific place for people to go, one, to make contact with you, and two, to find out you know some of the results that other people have had, that builds up trust and credibility. Plus then you've got all this other content coming onto your website about all your podcasts, all your videos. They can see that you're an actual real person, you're a relevant person, you are a currently relevant person. Now, how many times have you been on a website and you it's literally impossible to check whether this website's been updated in the last five years or not because they've got no blog posts, they've got nothing, right? Like, you don't even know if this business is even in existence anymore. So by you constantly creating more content, putting it on your website, it shows that you are a currently relevant business and that you can currently help those people with whatever query that they happen to have. So look, is a website relevant in 2019? Like, can you... Let me re ask that question in a slightly different way. Can you get away with not having a website in 2019, starting a business without one? Yes. Is it in an ideal world? Do you need a website? 100% you need a website. You can start a business without it, but that's like, can you drive a, a four wheel car on three wheels? Well, yes. Like, you can, but would you want to? Why would you? Why would you run the risk? Go and get yourself a bloody website for 350 quid. For not even a lot of money. So yes is the answer. Um, you can do that. So look, I hope that's useful for you. If you've got any questions on that, then just come back to me and we'll speak to you on the next podcast. My name's Dan Latter. Take care. The Property Coaching and Wealth Creation Podcast. Brought to you by Property and Business Coach Daniel Latto. Join the conversation at www.daniellatto.co.uk. Remember to like and subscribe.